Welcome back to Proof of Work Coin News. This is your host, Coinology. Please, if you have a moment, subscribe. We're on an adventure to 250 subscribers currently. At that time, we're going to be doing a giveaway, so look out for that. Let's go ahead and jump into the market. Current market conditions. Bitcoin is up half a percent. That's moved up quite a few altcoins. Um, the major one being Firopow, just absolutely crushing it today. Uh, we have another one. We have uh, Digibyte doing 17.3%. Uh, uh, and then we also have Siacoin uh, moving up 10.2%. We do have uh, Caspa moving down 6.8% as well. Uh, Litecoin starting to retract just a little bit. Before we start our opinion piece, I did just want to say uh, none of this is financial advice, as well as I am personally a huge Caspa supporter. I've been supporting Caspa since it hit mainnet. Um, so just want to get that information out there that I'm not trying to FUD Caspa in any way, shape, or form. Just trying to get the information out about its miners. So this is a press release from Box2 News. Um, basically, ViperTech secured 1,500 units of the Bitmain KS3. Um, so amid escalations demands in the blockchain industry, ViperTech is pleased to announce securing a significant order of 1,500 Bitmain KS3 miners, demonstrating its firm commitment to pioneering advanced blockchain technology. This procurement comes at a time when many competitors are wrestling with supply chain distributions, uh, disruptions, further solidifying ViperTech's position in the market. The Bitmain KS3 is the latest innovation in the world of blockchain technology, known for its high performance capabilities, efficient energy consumption, and unprecedented hash rates, the KS3 setting new benchmarks in the mining industry. In an arena where competitors are finding it challenging to secure even a handful of these miners, ViperTech has managed to secure a sizable allocation of 1,500 units. We are excited to bolster our infrastructure with Bitmain's latest release, the KS3 miners. In this highly competitive market, our ability to secure such a large quantity underscores our strong relationship with suppliers and our commitment to our customers. The move positions ViperTech as a leader in the industry equipped to deliver unparalleled computational power for its customers. Amidst rising cryptocurrency prices and escalating needs for comp computational power, this purchase is set to position ViperTech for a robust performance throughout 2023. The development comes at a time when many of ViperTech's competitors are struggling with securing mining equipment due to supply chain issues largely caused by semiconductor shortages and logistical challenges brought on by ongoing global uncertainty. We have always believed in being one step ahead, added Tamman. While others are struggling with supply chain distributions, we have strategized to stay ahead and fulfill our promises to our customers. Securing 1,500 Bitmain KS3 units signifies ViperTech's growth and determination to uphold its leading position in the blockchain industry with such advanced technology in hand. ViperTech is well positioned to deliver unmatched service and results to its global client base. So let's go ahead and look at the Caspa network hash rate. So currently, Caspa's hash rate is sitting at 1.27 petahash. We see it's actually moving up. It dropped off a little bit after it hit 1.3. Now, the Bitmain Antminer KS3 is currently going to do 8.3 terahash. So if we plug that into a hash rate cal calculator, we see 8.3 terahash is um let's see here it's gonna be eight million three hundred thousand mega hash now looking at a calculator keep in mind as of right now we know that there are 1500 bitmain ks3s being released the word on the street is that there is a total of five thousand ks3s going to be released total from bitmain but we will just work within the parameters of what ViperTech's allocation is. So, if we take 8.3 and times that by 1500, that gives us 12,415. So 12,450 terahash 
Now, I want you to take a look at something. The current CASPA network hash rate is at 1.27 petahash. This is saying just based upon Viper Tech, that's 12.45 uh, petahash. That's 12 times, well, I'd say probably about 10 times, uh, what the current hash rate is on the network. Now, times that by about four, and that's what your that's what the dust will settle at once the Bitmain KS3s are released. Um, let's go ahead and do the math on that. 8.3 times 5,000. Okay, everyone. This is the ugly truth. This is the ugly truth about Bitmain. So once the KS3s have all been released, they've been shipped, they've, they're plugged in, ready to go, they're mining, we are going to see the Caspa network hash rate move up to 41 petahash. And it's currently at 1.27. If you didn't think Caspa was dead, think again. It's completely dead. And companies like Viper Tech, you know, receiving 1,500 of these units is not decentralizing the network in any way, shape, or fashion. So keep this in mind. If you are looking at purchasing uh, something like a KS0, realize that your profitability is about to drop 41 times. And that's, and, 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 and I mean, on top of that, there is also the Ice River KS3, the KS2, the KS1s that are all being shipped out as well. Caspa's network hash rate could 100x over the next couple of weeks towards the end of summer. Um, and that just doesn't look good for smaller machines like the KS0, like the KS1. So for me, I would stay away from it. I think that the KS0, let's look this machine up. I, I personally believe that the KS0 will actually be more of a lottery miner once all of these miners have released. So it's sort of similar to like a uh, Bitcoin lottery miner because at 100 giga hash, you're just not touching anything on the network. You're not profiting anything. Uh, so keep this in mind. Uh, obviously, this is a opinion piece. You don't have to take my advice if you don't want to. Um, this is just the information that I've been given. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Like I said, I'm going to be avoiding these miners. I was very excited when these miners came out and I wanted to purchase at least a KS0 as I told you I'm a huge fan. Instead, I will be mining Caspa on iPolos, uh, ETC miners, and converting it through Unminable to Caspa. I won't be mining Caspa directly. Moving over to GPU mining profitability, we have the leader again, Sky Dogenet. Um, this this coin uh, just continues to be uh, top of the leaderboards as far as proof of work GPU mineable coins. Um, we actually have Sky Dogenet pretty much being the most profitable coin across the board, uh, with the only outlier being Conceal. Um, I recently did a video on SkyDogeNet. If you have any questions about it, uh, refer back to that. The 4090 in the lead doing 120 a day, 79 cents after power. Moving into ASIC machines. We have the Bitmain Antminer KS3 that we were just talking about doing $2,635. 
as the Caspa network hash rate moves up and the price moves down because of the sale pressure, uh, you are starting to see this profit drop off. Obviously, this was over $3,000 a day, uh, but since then has moved down. We have the X16-P doing $1,359 a day. The Antminer L7 doing $1,250 a day after power. Moving down, we do have the uh, Bitmain Antminer K7 doing $6.45 a day after power. The Bitmain E9 Pro doing $4 a day after power on ETC. Now, we actually see the Bitmain Antminer KA3 uh, on the Kadena network doing 484. This is a really great picture of what happens to ASIC miners as too many of them are produced. Uh, this miner was uh, set to destroy the network uh, and it did. It, uh, they made too many of these machines and now with uh, Kadena, uh, you're making 484 with the very best machine out there. Moving down to some of our mini miners or our box miners. We have the iPolo V1 SE Plus doing 69 cents a day. Uh, looks like it's on ETHPOW uh, plus Zill. We have the iPolo V1 Mini SE doing 41 cents a day. We have the iPolo V1 Classic Plus doing 26 cents a day. The Gold Shell SE Box 2 doing 20 cents a day. I am considering picking up a couple of these they are starting to get very, very cheap. Moving down, uh, we do have the Mini Doge uh, 2, kind of at the end of our profitability, uh, doing negative four cents a day. If you went ahead and stuck around to the very end, I just wanted to go ahead and say thank you very much. We are a proof of work coin only channel. If you can't mine the coin, we don't talk about it. If we can't mine it, then we don't need it. That's the way I see things. Um, we do also have a Mercari store where I sell uh, GPUs, ASIC miners, all kinds of things. Uh, just kind of building up the store back up again. Uh, that is gonna be down in the description as well. And then last but not least, um, I do enjoy technical questions, so if you have any uh, technical questions about any miners, uh, whether they be like an ASIC, a CPU, a GPU, go ahead and put them down in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. But thank you very much everyone and we will see you on the next one.